The martial arts are often considered to be a valuable skill to, to learn for self-defense. It's a common extracurricular activity for kids across the country. One martial arts program in Woodruff recently celebrated its 100th graduation. Newswatch 12's Matt Weaver is here to tell us more about the program. Matt? Thanks, Michael. The Leadership Academy in Woodruff has been training people young and old in the martial arts. But while self-defense is an important skill, they like to focus on the lessons that students take into the real world. Our goal is that they learn the skills, right? Not that they earn the belt. The belt is a byproduct. Gary Engels started the Leadership Academy in 2005 with the goal of teaching the martial arts to the Northwoods community. Now they're celebrating their 100th class of graduates. We've worked for this and we were able to watch, you know, all the families and all the lives, you know, be served as a result of that 17 years. 100 graduations means we've had hundreds of students come through and they're excelling and they're learning leadership and they're learning how to take you know, the art and also the teachings that, you know, of self-discipline and respect and, and confidence, and they're taking that out into the real world, too. It's a family activity for the Angles. Their daughter started learning the martial arts at a young age. She is already a black belt, but that's not her biggest takeaway from the program. I really just focus on how good of a person I can be on the mats and outside of the school. And to me, that's the best award I can get. Students past and present attended the ceremony, including Gary Engel's first student, John Middlestead. Getting the black belt after waiting and waiting all that time, it put more motivation for me to continue going, which is why I stuck around another two or three years to get my second degree black belt. Those students may learn a lot about the sport. It's the life lessons that really make a difference. You're going to face challenges no matter what it is in your life. You can't give up. You just have to keep going. And it might not be the way that you thought it was going to be. It might have taken you left when you thought you were going to go right, but ultimately it's going to get you to that same goal. The club hopes to continue teaching students these important lessons for years to come. Michael?